Hey guys, it's Friction Pin. Time for Lego Store Mock Update number six. I'm getting pretty close to being finished with this. I'd say maybe one more episode after this, depending on some orders uh, with a little snafu that I had uh, ordering some parts, but uh, getting pretty close to the end. So let me show you what we got done. Uh, it's been two weeks waiting on parts so uh, mainly what we focused on was the interior which should be pretty much done uh, and the roof so let's take a look and see what we got so first I stopped on the front of the building on the roof but to kind of get an idea of where I'm going with it this is what the sides look like I've got some arches there with some lights in the middle and it's a little decorative with the black it's a little hard to see but some decorative uh, pieces here with the, the little bar on the modified plate we did use some slopes um, and that's where I made the mistake these are one by two by three black slopes and I went out and I made an order for like 40 of them but I ordered one by two by two so I didn't get as far as I thought I would otherwise the roof would have been done but I'm waiting on I just ordered those parts the day before yesterday so they should be here in plenty of time for next week's update which hopefully should show a finished roof I'll move along to the back this kind of gives you an idea of a completed section of the roof so I've got a couple of smaller arches there uh, and these little wider ones I like them better but um, kind of ran out of room here so I had to kind of squeeze those in I'm not sure that I like it quite as good because you can't really see with the no space on either side of those lights it just makes everything a little squished so that's what I did there so it's got all of the appropriate one by two by three black slopes here on the back and I've got my skeleton legs up here with a black lightsaber bar in there and I've got some cone pieces in the middle and that kind of comprises the railing on the top kind of go around to the other side it looks just like the side on the left side of it uh, same same principle just kind of continued on here uh, Basically what I did was I used the headlight bricks here in these positions and then put that one by one tile on them. So it kind of gives that little bit of separation in between the tiles uh, that you see. I thought that looked kind of nice. Instead of just having them butt up against each other using the um, one by ones with the stud on the side, that light brick kind of gives you that little bit of gap in between there. So. So I kind of stopped on the front because I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do these little out pieces of the roof that stick out for the front windows um, and without those slope pieces that I mistakenly ordered the wrong size of, I can't get everything laid out the way I want to start playing around with ideas. So anyway, hopefully that gets done next week. Now that's pretty much what the roof is going to look like. So, go ahead and take the roof off and take a look at the inside. <clears throat> Alright, so I've got George in there. Move the camera a little bit. We've got George, and you can just barely see the top of Cletus' head in there, but I started working on stocking the shelves, so those are mostly done you got the printed stickers on the set boxes there with more sets behind them so all those are kind of put out like I had planned it actually worked out pretty good um, I could have used a few more uh, tiles in yellow or blue but we hadn't made do with what we had so I just kind of mixed up a few and then I left a few that had all the same color in there to <clears throat> represent stacks of the same set and stacks of different sets. So let me zoom in on that a little bit. So 
So you can see that. And then we've got our brand ribbon there. The picture's inside it. So I thought it turned out pretty good with the stickers on both the sets and the brand ribbon and it looks pretty nice all together. Um, I'm fairly satisfied especially considering it's been oh this is the first mock that I've built since I was a kid. Um, I'm gonna say it's been close to 30 years yeah it's been almost right at 30 years since I built anything of my own idea other than sets or things like that, kits from Lego. Um, this is the first one that I have built since I was a kid, so I was actually pretty pleased with that. It, uh, move this around here, try not to knock them off. Those actually aren't attached to anything, they're just stacked up there, those tiles. So this is the other side. <clears throat> the sets we printed, so Again, I just got some tiles with a plate behind it to represent boxes on the shelves uh, behind the printed stickers. We got our red brick over there in the corner and as you walk in. And there's Cletus with our minifig build station standing over there waiting to greet people as they come in the door. And there's George, the cash register right there with our poly bags and he's got a few things setting up on the cash register there that are giveaway items he's going to give away to the first few customers then behind him we have our pick a brick cups uh, back on this shelf back here right here pick a brick cups and lids then we have our pick a brick wall with all of our various sizes and shapes and colors of pieces for the kids and the adults, like myself, to enjoy and fill cups and cups and cups. So he's there ready to go, ready to make lots of money from all the crazy people that are coming to the grand opening. And there will be lots. I have that on good authority. So we've got the little build station there with the bricks in it for the kids to play with when they come in. And then the little sign that you get to see as you're leaving uh, the building, just like on the front, got the Lego sign up there. Turn that back around, just like we do on the front. I want to make sure we have our advertising there to let people know exactly what they're going into. A Lego store. That's right. Okay, well, that's pretty much it for what I got done. Um, like I say, the, the roof is pretty much what's left. The inside is almost done. We got one thing back here in this corner. I know I just zoomed out, but back here in this corner right here, I'm going to use minifig heads. That's why there's no tiles back there for like those uh, sort and store heads and the, the old storage heads that they had before that for Lego bricks. I'll just have three or four or five stacked up back there to represent those. So I'm going to kind of give a little contrast other than just box sets and pick-a-bricks back there. So that's really pretty much what's left for the inside. Uh, it's pretty much finished. Then we've got the roof. So like I say, all things considered, barring the mistake that I made with the roof, probably next week's Wednesday night update will be the final version. So barring any disasters or Pony Express problems uh, getting the package to me. So, I hope you enjoyed it. And I've got to figure out what my next project is going to be. I don't know that I'll have news of that in the next update, but I will try. Um, at least to mention a couple of ideas or something that might be uh, coming later as the portion of my YouTube page that has my own builds, my mocks, because I want to keep that going. Uh, I just need to come up with the next idea. Uh, but like I say, I really want to finish this one first. way I don't get distracted and get excited about something new and kind of leave this one. So, got to stay on track. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know what you think. You know, give me some comments. 
suggestions maybe for what uh, what I should start on next. Um, this will go into my city, so I'm probably going to build something along those lines, something for my upcoming city. So um, just be thinking about that and let me know. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.